Preparing for this school year, our goal has been to minimize risks and increase safety for everyone, while continuing to provide the service and success that our families demand and our students deserve. We've made significant changes to how schools will operate this fall, and working with multiple provincial ministries and health agencies, we've instituted safety plans in all our buildings to decrease the number of interactions with others while increasing the safety of any interactions. It's working collaboratively with all those agencies and with a plethora of our own staff within our administration to develop these safety plans uh, to get them in place to help ensure the safety of our staff and students. The first important step for students and staff will be taken at home before they leave for school. A brief COVID-19 screening is vital to determine if someone has any symptoms. No one should be coming to school if they are sick. Each school will have designated entrances and exits. At those doors, there will be hand sanitizer stations and everyone will clean their hands before going directly to their classroom. Hand washing is a simple but critical part of reducing the risk of contracting COVID-19. There will be scheduled opportunities for students to wash and hand cleaning stations have been installed in every classroom. As well, there are wall mounted stations of the alcohol based sanitizer throughout each school. Elementary students will remain in groups together throughout their school day in the classroom during recess and any outdoor activities. The classrooms have been laid out according to the safety plan and furniture should not be moved. Activity areas such as sand and water tables have been removed from kindergarten classrooms. Work and play areas have been well spaced for physical distancing. Secondary students will have required physical distancing and contacts during their days in class will be limited. Students in grades 4 through 12, as well as all staff, will be required to wear masks while at school. It's recommended for kindergarten and primary students. If a student does not have a mask or damages their own in some way, a mask will be provided for them. Each day there will be an emphasis on enhanced cleaning and disinfecting high-touch surfaces. We've also adjusted shifts and schedules. For example, our custodian afternoon shift will be coming in earlier so that we can clean and disinfect all commonly touched surfaces twice a day. In all areas of the school, Physical distancing will be supported with barriers in office spaces and occupancy limits in rooms and common areas. Directional arrows have been installed on floors with signage and visual reminders prominently displayed to encourage safe and conscientious behavior. Water fountains have been bagged but bottle filling stations have been installed in all schools and students should all bring their own reusable container. But personal possessions from home should be limited. Elementary students will have cubbies or storage areas that are well spaced. Lockers in secondary schools will not be used. As well cafeterias in secondary schools will be closed. However, the space will be cleared and may be used for specialized programming that requires more physical distancing. In music classes, use of instruments will be restricted and singing can only be done outside or in spaces large enough to separate the participants. Teachers will focus on music theory to begin the year. I'm Erin Kelly, Director of Education. Please know that we are doing everything we can to ensure the safety of our staff and students as they return to our buildings and classrooms. Families can be assured that we're putting effort, resources, and the best advice available into our preparations. Be safe, be kind.